Welcome back, everybody. This is Mog once more here on Mog's Cast, playing some more Project Zomboid with you folks today. Now, I'm sorry. Elza Young died way too young, and I felt it was too short of an episode. You're getting a double episode today. I'm recording this right after the fact. We're jumping back into this. We had a goal of getting back to that darn base so that we could check on those crops, and I'm not going to let that fly. Let's restart. Same uh, area. Let's see what we get for random. Uh, Benjamin Bailey. Um, yeah, okay. I'm going to change up from receding hairline, though. Let's go bald. And I'm going to keep your full beard, because that's kind of what I'm rocking these days, and I'm digging it. So let's do that. Uh, what should we make, guys? We could go drug dealer again, since uh, they got the buff to uh, yielding crops, but I feel like we've done that. Um, and I should probably just do something normal again. I was considering construction worker again, pretty standard. Uh, park ranger's got outdoorsman, which is kind of a, a nice trait to have because you don't get affected quite as much by uh, the weather out there like rain and everything but I think you know honestly Axeman or Marksman with police officer or fire officer would probably be a good one to go with uh, security guards all right with a night owl you don't have to sleep as much which is I mean it's kind of nice you don't spend as much time sleeping but in all honesty it's not that big of a deal anymore especially with the longer days um, I think Benjamin Bailey I think you're going to be a police officer, sir. That's what I think. And I think I'm going to ch change this up a little bit. I'm not going to grab strong this time. I'm going to grab athletic. And I'm going to grab light eater and brave. And we're going to see if we can make up those those 12 points there. Now, I know I start with a lot lower strength. But that's okay, I, th I think. This could be interesting. But uh, we're going to go for it. Let's see what we can get. Short temper, we need four more points. Why don't we snag? Uh, hmm. I'm not taking weak. Definitely not taking weak. I don't like cla claustrophobic. Prone to illness is horrible. So is hypochondriac. That is just like, if you want to die as soon as possible, choose those. Uh, that's, that's my opinion on that. Uh, we could take hard of hearing, and we probably will have to. Um, and short-sighted. We could take unlucky. Ah... Uh, we're taking unlucky. We're taking unlucky. We're gonna see how this goes. I, I've only played with unlucky once before, and I think I got an infection from a scratch and I died. But it happens. It is what it is. Let's get into this and see what we can get make happen here. If we can get back to our base, I'd be pretty ecstatic and happy. But uh, it is what it is. I don't know exactly where we are. What in the heck kind of beard is that? That is like an inviso. Like it's like it's just weird. What did I, I don't know what I did. We got some chips here. Let's snag some chips. We got something to eat. Uh, we got some more chips and a uh, sweet a water bottle straight off the bat. I'll take that as well as some peanut butter to keep us fed. Uh, whiskey bottle, sure, for the time being, I guess. Uh, what we really could be looking for at this point is a weapon like a knife. We'll do the trick in the meantime. Was there a rolling pin? I think I saw a rolling pin. Is there? Come on, last cabinet. There is a rolling pin. I think I would prefer that over a kitchen knife. Um, it's not a great improvement, but at least it has some knockback. Um, let's see, another water bottle, sure. Oh god, we have eight. Eight strength is, is what our friggin' thing is. That's half of what we had at strong. Seriously? That's the default? Holy... Okay, god dang. I, I haven't chosen, I guess, not strong in so long. Ugh, that seems daunting. Um, I guess I'll make do, though. So, let's see, nothing really out here. This is some kind of a farm. Where are the farms? I think they're maybe up toward kind of where uh, Elza Young started previously. There's a well here. Can you drink from the well? You can drink from the well. Where is this? Let's keep moving. Uh, we definitely want to keep our speed up. Uh, street out here. Let's zoom it out and try to look around as far as we can reach. This might be down where near Elza Young spawned. Or we could totally be back in another area. It didn't ask us for a spawn location, did it? Oh, no, no, this is this is New Denver. I remember this intersection. It is kind of down near, whoa, near where Elza Young did spawn. But um, it's off the beaten path a little bit. It's still kind of out in the woods. Um, I think we actually want to be moving this way. At least to find a cl an easier path. 
take it nice and easy and need to get our breath back. We're definitely a little panicked, so if we can take it easy here and not attract as many zombies from the woods, that would be ideal. I don't want to get caught through trees again. Hello over there. Let's get a sprint on. And this is the little path I was looking for. This leads kind of up through the woods and towards some of the more uh, remote accessible areas, I do believe. Um, or some of the areas along town, I should be saying, that, that don't see many zombie spawns, is what I was trying to say with those words. Let's see. We keep moving this way, just following the path. We should pop up kind of in some of the more southern areas, I think, toward the school. We might even be able to find Elsie Young's corpse if we're quick, and if the zombies have kind of dispersed a bit. Let's see what we can find over here. So this is the street, some of the early neighborhoods in New Denver here, in the northeastern corner, I do believe. I'm almost positive that's where we are. This looks really familiar. we got some zombies around here, though, so we got to be careful and not slow up too much. Thankfully, we've got the athletic trait. That should really help us out uh, with our speed in traversal like this, because uh, it's basically like having a free point in sprinting, as far as I'm aware and have heard. So, oh yeah, this definitely looks familiar now. I, I'm almost, like, 99% sure I know where we are now. Almost. I think, I think if we actually keep coming down the street, we should bump into the school. And then we could actually grab some, maybe some supplies or a backpack from uh, our school outpost that we had just left with Elza. So if that's the case, we just need to know, or we know exactly where to go to find her corpse. Actually, yeah, we should just find her corpse. So if we can find the outpost, I think, oh, actually, we're right there. We are right there. There it is. You can see it from right now. We're just taking a moment to catch our breath, though. There we go. We should be able to sprint again full speed. All good. Why don't we go ahead and uh, switch out our weapon, at the very least, and maybe drop off these these uh, little bit of supplies that we grab. We can restock a little bit here. I think I'll keep the peanut butter, though, to eat. Uh, the water bottles I will keep one of, but the other one I will toss in here. There we go. Uh, up here, rolling pin, we already have one. I don't care. You're getting another one outpost. Deal with it. And whiskey's in the fridge, so... That's going to go in here, too. That's going to free up some space for us. We only got two out of eight weight now, so that's going to be a little easier. Whoa, we don't want to leave before grabbing a weapon. That's what we came here for. Come on, Mog. Crowbar. We're going to snag up our crowbar that we brought here and dropped off. And the hiking bag. I don't want to I'm, I don't want to take it because it's. I should just leave it here. Because I want to make sure that there's a bag available here in case we really need it in the future. We're going after... Ooh, but if we can't get to her corpse... Yeah, okay, we're taking this. We can always bring back another bag here some other time, or we can find one, I'm sure, again. Equip on our back, we may need this extra space. If we can't get to our corpse of Elsie Young, then yeah, we'll need to use this one. I really hope we can get to that corpse. We'll be able to get there sooner or later. I just need to go back and get some more weapons, uh, maybe another pistol and some ammo. Use it to disperse the zombies a bit and then get in there to grab her supplies. It would be how I'd end up doing it. So we're going to keep moving here um, across the field here. There's the school. You can actually see it out there. You can see the roof. And we're coming up. There's the exit that we can go through. There should be some zombies around here, but I think they've kind of maybe trailed after Elza the direction she went. Come on, you son of a bitch! Come on! There you go. Take a peek around. We're doing okay still. We see another zombie over there looking our way, but he's stuck behind the fence, so he's gonna stay still. And we're going to head this way to meet up the same path that Elza took, so we need to be careful, but this is the way she went. This time I'm not going to be dumb. I'm not going to let my, my confidence in my ability to evade zombies let me get killed again. So her corpse is right up here somewhere. God, there is quite a few zombies here. Come on, zombies. Let's see. Make some noise. Oh, get off me. Okay, I was trying to break a window there. That was almost bad. <laughs> Let's instead break one of these. Yeah, come on over this way. Oh, there is a ton of zombies back there. Jesus. Sweet Jesus, there's a lot of zombies. She was surrounded. Yeah, we're definitely not getting to her corpse right now. Not safely. So we're just going to keep moving. I don't want to let this character die in his very first episode. We're not going to let that happen. 
We're definitely going to get back there to get Elsa's backpacks and all her gear. That was some good stuff, as well as a lot of bullets. So, nice little treasure trove back there. We just need to make sure that we don't forget about it. Let's go this way. Come on, zombies. What do we got? Four of you right now that have seen me? Three? Get out of here. Oh, seriously? Come on. No! Ugh. Thank you. Two in a row with the crowbar. I'm down with that. You come over here. If I can keep you away from the others, I can finish you off. There we go. I want to keep finishing these guys off so at least we get some sort of a barrier here between uh, the big zombie horde previous to this and the outskirts. Kind of make a, a nice little dead zone. I don't want to get them with the bat when they're that close together. It's dangerous. Or not the bat, the crowbar. It just doesn't have enough wide arc, I guess. Uh, is, oh, here we are. We already found the place. So we were very close. Okay, so let's actually just loop around. We're going to go through the, uh, the other house so that we don't attract as many zombies that were looking after us already. So, looping back this way. Let's take it nice and easy now. We definitely should continue to start barricading this place up, I suppose. Continue to start. Oh, jeez, Mog. The words you choose sometimes. Close that up. How are our plants looking? Get some info. They are still in the young state. Um, and they are well watered, so they, the rain has been keeping them well watered. So this time of year, it's uh, easy enough, I guess. Let's head on inside. And uh, we're going to take a look at what we've got here. Anything rotted out? Yep, these guys did. Let's grab those both, because I, I keep forgetting about this. I kept throwing these away, but what you can do is just dump these things out and they become empty bottles. So might as well, right? Bottle of Romulade empty, or Remelade, I don't know what you call that stuff. Mayonnaise, I know that one, because we have it here. Um, did that literally just get merged into that? Three of these guys now? Two? What happened to the other one? Did I just seriously straight up drop it? That was... Uh, oh, uh, duh. <sighs> I'm dumb. Let's go ahead and fill up in the toilet. Yeah, we still can. Our water bottle. And these bottles, we're going to use those to put some water away. No, stop it. Is that it? All we can do from this one? That's all you're going to let me do? Just two? Unfortunate. Fill up all those using the bathtub there. Where do we have these in this place? Is it under one of these counters? Pretty sure. Oh, it's up here, I think. Yeah, this is where all our water bottles are. Toss those water bottles over there. We're going to keep the one we've got on us. It's been nice and filled up now. And, uh, cool. So we've made it back. Um, we should be able to gear up here a little bit more. We've got an axe, uh, at least. We can go back out there with an axe, something a little better than this dang crowbar. And, uh, we'll get some some things done around the house here, get some things uh, cleaned up, maybe get re-geared to go get that Elza Young drop stuff. We've got some, uh, some pistols here, but I don't think we have any ammo. I'll have to look around for ammo, see if we can find that. But we're gonna go get her drop bags and pick those up sooner or later to get all our gear back, dang it. At least we're back here that we can keep an eye on our plants, though. Uh, so if you liked what you saw today, guys, uh, with our new character, Benjamin Bailey, please do click that like button. I'd really appreciate the feedback. And if you're not a subscriber already and would like to get my videos streamed straight to your YouTube homepage when you log in, hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate keeping you around. Until next time, guys. Cheers.